<coughs> for now this is enough to test this out that is it work or not okay so I have the terminal here and we can try to compile the program so G++ uh, we compile everything uh, with the LSDL flag because you know that is needed oh mistype uh, key 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 sim that's it that's it now oh I write it in another place okay copy and paste all right but now it should work and try to run the program so as you can see we already did what the first tutorial is about we make an empty completely empty window without any FPS correction or something uh, yeah at least it's work so make the uh, uh, regulating the FPS because it's too quick for uh, for me so I use a uint32 uh, uh, I call it sort as I usually and the, fir and the, the first thing to do in this while loop is to get the current time so a sort equal to SDL get takes and the last thing to do is to actually uh, uh, regulating the FPS so if 1000 slash 30 I will use just that so I use a stable 30 FPS is greater than the SDL get takes minus start so if it is takes more uh, more than it should be so it takes less than it should be, then we delay it. So SDL delay. I cheat a little bit. Just write this to minus and you. Okay, so that's all we need to do. Okay, and one more thing I always forget that flip the surface. So SDL flip green although it's not really matter right now because the screen is black anyway but uh, it could matter later okay uh, so we have the basic thing as you can see we see the completely same window although my uh, you, uh, processor usage CPU usage is less than it was alright so now it's time to implement the l a load map and the show map function. Alright, so I just make a new file in here and uh, this will be our map which we will load. This will be a very simple map. I just use my text editor for now because we haven't make uh, any, you know, level editor as I showed you in the last lesson. So I just use it manually okay I reserved the width and the height there so we will write the width and the, the height when we finish it so finish uh, the typing of the map okay uh, without the side scroller feature because it we are without it we need a uh, 30 uh, a column and 10 uh, row to fill the entire screen with the uh, uh, tiles so I just use zero where I don't want anything okay how much was it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty okay and I just copy it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh we need uh, less with one okay so here we have nothing so I just fill the l bottom two line with the uh, ones so one two three four five okay and I just copied this 
to the line above okay and I just make free one here so if you can see through the uh, the zero will be nothing and the one will be a, a green block so basically that's it so we will just go through this entire array actually this is just a, a lot of number and we get uh, so and we get which uh, which number it is if it is one then we put a tile in there if it is zero then we don't put anything in there uh, yeah basically that's it okay so I save it to the side scroller folder and I co call it map.map because I am so creative okay so we that we can start to implement the function so first the load map function okay I want the start to the end of the uh, this entire file so it's easier to see so a game con colon a load map because you know it's a function a member function so we have to use the game colon colon and uh, let's get started so I use two for loop well I think I forget something yep we have to put the this is 13 and the height is 10 okay now we can start to implement it so first of all open the file so std i f stream so input file stream and call it in and just press the file name to it that's it uh, if uh, in dot open so if it is not oh is open so if it is not open then there is something problem for example wrong file name or something then I will just write something to the screen and return from here so std count problem with loading the file okay and just return from this function uh, else so if it is loaded then I just uh, read further width from the file then the so in height of the file so I read this two number this will be where uh, how much does the for loop goes and uh, and we need a ver uh, current variable which will contain the current uh, you know block tile number okay and uh, we can start the outer for loop so for int i equals zero i less than height because the outer will go down obviously the inner will go uh, uh, horizontally i plus plus so in here we have to uh, fill this uh, multi-dimensional uh, vector i call it multi-dimensional vector so uh, we always have to make a new vector, fill a, r a, c a lot of variable and put it in here and then repeat this uh, cycle again so first of all we have to make a new vector so vector uh, this, will, this vector will contain int and call it vec for example to the sake of simplicity then we make another for loop this will be the inner for loop so j equals zero j less than uh, uh, with j plus plus so we just go through this array of element in the file and uh, read those so actually the first thing i want to do is to check that uh, aren't we the end of the file so if in dot else so if we are end of the file then we just give an error message so if the user lied about how width and height is, is the uh, game is so the map is then we just write something to the user 
if we write that uh, uh, file and reach uh, too soon okay uh, so uh, else so if it is not happened then we just uh, read uh, from read uh, from the in to the current variables which is an integer so this will contain one or zeros at the moment so first we read zero 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 and then it will one okay so if it is zero if current equal to zero then we don't have to do nothing as just write to continue because we don't want to store that we don't want to do anything with it no i don't think so so uh sorry about this i think it over and this will not work as it should be so if current is greater or equal than zero and current is less or equal than one so if we are on the range because uh, for now we just pretend that we can only uh, uh, do e is there a tile or n not obviously if you have more tiles ju you just uh, rewrite this number so for example if you have 10 tile then you just uh, you will write 10 in here uh, else so if it is not in here then we then there is no problem i just put a zero in there so it is an un uh, so we don't recognize that character and that's why i push a zero in there so a nothing character uh, it will not be actually uh, you know collapse the program or something write an error message so work dot push back zero so i just push back a zero else uh, i just push back the current number so work dot push back current okay uh, uh later if we add spatial meaning uh, numbers here like the minus one which is represent the enemy then we just write it in here uh, so in this if statement uh, and uh, basically that's it okay uh, in here so after the inner for loop i just push this vector to the end of the map so map dot push back back you see the how nice to use these template parameters it can store anything even another vector so we could make three dimensional array if we want or ten dimensional array which is dynamically allocated wow okay uh, so the last thing to which is remains is to actually close this in so write in the close in here and we already read this map okay the show map will be a little more tricky than this so this is pretty simple and straightforward we just read the width and the height from the file we go through the entire file we uh, to that height and width and we always make a new vector put everything the end of the new vector and then put the vector to the end of the of our map so pretty simple and straightforward nothing really to explain in here uh, so make the show map wait game show map so this will always show the to the ma uh, show the map so actually before we move on i want to uh, make the chord uh, function uh, not function uh, uh, variable so as the error the chord will be this it will always store the absolute coordinate of the screen uh, and because we store the absolute coordinate of every single tile we have to uh, make this coordinate so never mind it will be clear in a moment so I make it in the uh, base class 